Okay, drama and staging. This is my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we get to the favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So um, this is where, you know, I just want to show how creative TypePad, the TypePad t tools and services can really allow you to be. Uh, so let's move on to the first slide. So this, you know, we're, when I look at this, I, I clearly immediately know that this person is about fabric. It's really not hard to, to not, you know, it's not hard to figure that out. Um, one of the things that's really nice is the shadow behind um, the middle, uh, the middle panel there, and then she's repeated the pattern, you know, within the header, and then she has uh, custom links across the top. And you know, which is really nice. The other thing is that we've got a picture of her, and and it's just pretty much her eyes. So clearly, we see you know the symbology of her being an artist, and she doesn't have this huge picture of herself that would dominate. The huge picture is about her product, and which is what it should be. So she's got nice spatial balancing. Um, really, you know, you can tell it's really thoughtful, thoughtfully designed. She puts as much into her business branding and representation as she does the quality of, of the work that she does. Um, I, I immediately trust this person. I don't exactly know what her business is about, but I really want to figure it out and see, you know, what we might. I, I'm very inspired by her. Now, for some people, this might be like overwhelming um, visuals because uh, it is somewhat dramatic. On the other hand, I, I, I'm just not questioning at all what she does. So it's just kind of something to, to look at and think about. Yeah, and sometimes, uh, you know, when you're working with a designer, what they bring may not be design that you as the, uh, as the business owner love, but it could be the design that your customers and your niche really wakes up to. Exactly. Yes. So she's, she's definitely leading, leading the way there. Yeah. Okay, so back to Seth. Back to Seth. Um, uh, here I just want to talk a little bit, you know, talking about drama and um, staging. Um, this is an example of, of animation done really well, and we can't see it on the slide, but the little guy on the dip book, the little guy is kind of going up and down that dip. And, um, and it's just this nice little animation, and nothing else on the page is moving, but your eye kind of goes to it, but you're not, um, you know, you're not frustrated or put off by it. It's very right. elegant. Yeah. So that's a nice, nice example. Donna Downing, I wanted to point out the script fonts here. Um, and, you know, when I saw this, I was writing to TypePad and saying, "How do I do that? How do I do that?" Because um, I just, I just love that. Um, so here's an example where you know she's got headers in script format. She also has a really nice color palette. Um, and it looks like she's, I'm going to guess she's using Pro because she's got, well, maybe not. I'm not sure. I, th I think it's Pro. It looks like she's got some yeah. custom CSS in there one way or another. Yeah, 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 because you can put custom CSS. By the way, the whole custom CSS thing, I'm constantly going online and um, just, I just pull code. Um, I just go on Google and, and look for the code that I want and pull it and put it in a type list. So um, that's, you know, it's it's also incredibly accessible, and that, and that's why I'm, I I would just encourage everybody to just be creative or hire somebody who can really be creative because there's there's a lot more that's possible than we actually think, and um, we just have to kind of sort of dare to imagine it, I guess. And for folks that are new to TypePad, uh, custom CSS is um, is geek speak, meaning we can add special styles that get you closer to exactly what you want. So if, if, if you're new uh, to web and HTML stuff, you may not be doing it yourself, but know that those options are out there, and we call it custom styles or custom CSS. Yeah. Okay, so continued drama and staging. Okay, so this is, this is kind of another one of my favorites. Um, dramatic use of white space. And so this is just to show you, you know, don't be afraid of white space. This is a very simple site. It's about fashion. And as you scroll down, I mean, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Seth. It's just very simple. It's to the point. And you can imagine that, um, I mean, I can also see, easily see this brand's website around this page. And then you come to this page and you have this, like, delightful light white space. And then you can engage immediately with um, 
the, the fashion drawings and what's happening with this business in a more dynamic way. And then the other pages um, would be like the static business pages that give you more of the kind of brochure where information about the site. So that's one way to look at blog and website integration. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, that's what I've got. Any any questions on drama and staging? Uh, let's see. We've got some questions. Uh, we've got a filmmaker and artist on the online who was wondering about uh, any particular concerns or practices for visual artists, filmmakers, musicians, that kind of stuff. And, and I will say that we have tons and tons of artists, uh, a visual, you know, uh, TV, theater, music, whatever, that use type pads. So any design considerations from your point of view, Nia? Um, just user control. I mean, from an inter interface design point of view, you want to make sure that, you know, for instance, if somebody comes onto the page, they're just not, you know, that the real, if you've got a, a you know, a video going or a film experience, that it doesn't just you know, take over the screen and start playing, for instance, or you just kind of want to make sure that you're really introducing everything that you're introducing um, in in a in a meaningful way. Um, that's a good. There's a good example. Hmm, forgetting, how can I forget the name? Um, but it was just. It was almost. I felt like I was in a museum, and it was it was a book that had been created and a film. I'll think of this. I'll think of this, I'm sure. Um, yeah, just later on. Yeah. But what I liked about it is that what it was all about what was happening in the film. There was no explanation except this is important to me and I'm representing it in, you know, kind of it's it was kind of like walking into a museum and all I wanted to do was engage with with the actual film. And you know the type the typography was very subtle. It was kind of in a dark gray. It was in like a large Helvetica font, and um, so I would just say that just make you know just kind of think about user control and engagement and not too much um, information, so that you, they really get the emotional connection. Fantastic. Do you want to uh, jump into your golden rules? Sure. 